Friday approaches, we're learning Gen Z shoppers are shopping in person rather than online. That's all according to downtown Austin's 2nd Street District. Cake Sands Brianna Hollis speaks with the group about how downtown businesses continue to search for ways to bring more people out to their brick and mortar shops. On a windy Wednesday before Thanksgiving, downtown Austin has its sights set one step past the turkey. Decorated with twinkly lights and promo signs out, it's ready for Black Friday and Small Business Saturday. They're really leaning into promotions and specials and exciting innovative events to attract customers over. Donica Tancheva, the regional marketing director for the 2nd Street District, says as retail trends shifted to the internet, brick and mortar strategies shifted to making the customer's experience more than just the shopping itself. Hopefully when you visit, you have a very warm, pleasant time um, and you want to stick around and you want to walk through the district and visit the more than 50 you know, businesses that we partner with. In downtown Austin, this also involves businesses teaming up. Eliza Page, which is a jeweler here in the district, we've partnered with them since 2008. They're partnering with a whiskey brand that's Texan called Millam and Green, and they're going to be doing a really special pop-up experience this small uh, business Saturday which I think will be really fun for people to attend. Really looking at the general shopping experience for most folks, like you mentioned, a lot of people just want to do it online because it's convenient and easy. Um, but I think they will travel to something that is unique and special. And so trying to come up with that on the back end of how do we make the experience unique and special for folks and worth traveling for uh, has been a challenge, but a fun challenge for us to tackle. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. The Second Street District says it has partnered with area parking garages to provide free parking through the weekend with validation for anyone who shops or dines in the district. Looking nationally, online shopping still reigns supreme among holiday shoppers. The National Retail Federation finds 57% of consumers plan on making their holiday purchases online, followed by department stores, grocery stores and supermarkets and discount stores. As Black Friday and 